Hi everybody, my name is Adriana and today we're going to be making green smoothie muffins. I chose to make these muffins because I love these muffins. <laughs> I've made them a couple times throughout my time as a service member and I've always been surprised at how much the kids truly love this recipe. The secret ingredient and the really sneaky way to get your kids to eat vegetables is spinach. And we mask the taste of that spinach with bananas, preferably as ripe as you can get them before using this recipe. And the reason for that is because the riper your banana is going to be, the sweeter it's going to be. The more it's going to mask that spinachy green flavor, and the sweeter it's just going to be in the muffin itself, and the more enjoyable it's going to be to eat. And another great thing that is in this recipe is that we have oats. So it's going to be really high in fiber, it's going to be really great for digestion, it's going to help keep you full longer, and it's just a really great breakfast muffin. They also don't turn into these giant muffins that are the size of your head. They're really easy to eat, they're small, so they get you full without being wasteful. And especially if you have little kids, it's also just easier for them to hold and to handle, and they can pick it apart themselves. It's also a really easy recipe to make because we don't need a lot of tools to make it. We of course need a muffin tin, um, but if you don't have that and you have a loaf pan by chance, you can also make this as a loaf and just slice pieces up for breakfast. Um, but other than that, you really just need a blender and some measuring cups and measuring spoons. And it doesn't take any time at all. So if you make this on a Sunday evening for a busy week ahead, or if you want to make this fresh in the mornings, um, it's super easy to do. It takes under an hour to do it, uh, as long as you have the ingredients for it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've gathered all the ingredients that we need for this recipe, and if you'd like to follow along as I'm measuring them out and putting them into the blender, you can do so if I go too fast for you. I'm also going to be posting the link to the original recipe that I'm using down below in the description. So right now, all you need is your measuring spoons, a measuring cup, and a blender. Before we get started, if you don't have a high-speed blender, you can use a normal blender. Just make sure you blend your oats separately by themselves. So that would happen at this point, where you would measure two cups of rolled oats. And everything that we're measuring can go straight into the blender. Again, if you don't have a high-speed blender, blend your oats by themselves now then you can add in everything afterwards. You just want to make sure that they get broken down properly so that the mixture is as smooth as possible. So then we have two eggs. We have a quarter cup of coconut oil. That's the original recipe. I have avocado oil. You can use whatever oil works for you, whatever you have in your house, whatever your familial preference is. Mine is avocado oil. That's what I'm going to use. Two bananas, very ripe. So I keep mine in the freezer. They get very ripe as you see and sometimes I don't get to them fast enough. So I put them in the freezer so that they don't go bad um, and keep them in the freezer until you're ready to use them. Because they've been frozen they're gonna get very very mushy and pretty hard to work with once they start to defrost. Next, a third cup honey. It's about a third of a cup. Maybe a little less, but that's okay. Next, half a tablespoon of 
of pure vanilla extract. So a teaspoon of baking soda. teaspoon of apple cider vinegar a quarter teaspoon of sea salt Then we have a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then one to two handfuls of baby spinach. And last thing, a quarter cup of milk. I have almond milk. Use whatever you have, whatever your preference is. It makes no difference. I just prefer almond milk. All right, let's get this bad boy going. All right, so push in all your ingredients. Add your top, go for it. So now that everything is incorporated, we're gonna remove the top and just push down any remaining ingredients you see on the side. And now, Putting the top back on, I'm going to bump up to close to the highest setting and we're going to let this go a little bit more until it's fully incorporated. Okay, so now that's pretty much done. Again, if you don't have a high speed blender, that's okay. It might take a little bit more longer time to get this nice and smooth, but you want it to have a really good batter consistency. So it's nice and movable. Okay, so next we're gonna prepare our tins. So now I've started laying out some muffin tin wrappers and I've laid them out. Now I'm gonna take my blender and my batter in my blender I'm going to start filling each cup about halfway. These are gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, anywhere from 17 to 20 minutes, the original recipe says. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer straight for 20, and then we'll see how they turn out. All right, so now with some movie magic, we have our muffins. So they were in the oven for about 20 minutes, and they rose pretty well. If you're not sure that your muffins are cooked all the way, you can tap on top of the dome. And when they're still in the oven, so it takes some brave hands, but if you tap on and you leave a little divot or like a little dent in the uh, cupcake or muffin, 
then they're not baked all the way, leave them for about three to five more minutes. If you tap them and they still bounce back, you're good to go. Another way you can do it if you have a toothpick or if you want to use a small knife, you can just poke in there and when you pull it out, if it comes back gooey, again, another three or five minutes. If it comes out clean or crumbly, you're pretty much good to go. I leave these in their pan as they're cooling so they can cook uh, from the residual heat. So I leave them just like this and I just put them on top of the stove. And that's about it. So I'm going to give these a try. I'm very excited to have them for breakfast for the next week or so. And good luck in making them. I hope yours turned out just as good.